Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, why? Why are we all here? What's out there? And how does it all work? Well, you're certainly not alone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the big why. I'm just as curious as you are about the universe and everything in it. From the depths of the ocean to the furthest reaches of space, no question is too big, no topic too strange for us. We'll crack open the mysteries of black holes, journey to the edge of the universe, and explore the mind-blowing discoveries that are changing our world. So if you're ready to unleash your inner scientist, ask the tough questions, and explore the universe alongside me, then buckle up, and let's ask why. The Big Bang Theory, a cornerstone of modern cosmology, describes the universe's origin as a cataclysmic explosion from an infinitely dense and hot state. But what if this wasn't the beginning? What if the universe existed before the Big Bang, undergoing a cycle of expansion and contraction, death and rebirth? This intriguing concept is known as the Big Bounce, a cosmological model that challenges our understanding of the universe's origins and its ultimate fate. In this video, we'll delve into the captivating world of the Big Bounce, exploring its theoretical underpinnings, its potential implications, and the ongoing debate surrounding its validity. We'll examine how this model challenges the traditional linear view of cosmic time, proposing instead a cyclical universe that undergoes repeated phases of expansion and contraction. We'll also consider the scientific evidence that supports or contradicts this theory and the potential for future observations to shed light on the true nature of the universe's beginnings. Whether you're a cosmology enthusiast, a curious science fiction fan, or simply someone who wonders about the ultimate questions of existence, this exploration promises to expand your understanding of the cosmos and challenge your assumptions about the nature of time and the origins of the universe. And who knows, maybe the next big breakthrough in our understanding of the universe's birth will be sparked by someone watching this video right now. The answers to these cosmic mysteries may not lie in ancient texts or complex equations but in the boundless curiosity and imagination of those who dare to question the known and explore the unknown. The Big Bounce Hypothesis is a cosmological model that proposes a cyclical universe, where the current expansion phase we observe is not the beginning, but rather a phase in an ongoing cycle of expansion and contraction. This model suggests that the universe existed before the Big Bang, and that the Big Bang itself was the result of the collapse of a previous universe. In the early 1980s, the Big Bounce hypothesis lost favor among cosmologists due to the emergence of inflation theory. Inflation theory, which posits a period of rapid exponential expansion in the early universe, offered a more elegant solution to the horizon problem. A cosmological puzzle that questioned how distant regions of the universe could have uniform properties without ever being in causal contact. However, inflation theory also presented a challenge to the Big Bounce hypothesis. Inflation was found to be inherently eternal, leading to the creation of an infinite number of universes with diverse properties. This suggested that the specific characteristics of our observable universe are merely a matter of chance, rather than a result of a cyclical process. Despite this setback, the Big Bounce hypothesis has not been entirely abandoned. Some researchers have continued to explore alternative models that incorporate the Big Bounce while addressing the challenges posed by inflation theory. These models aim to provide a more comprehensive and predictive explanation for the universe's origins and evolution. The ongoing investigation into the Big Bounce hypothesis is a testament to the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry and the constant quest for a deeper understanding of the cosmos. While the ultimate fate of this theory remains uncertain, its potential implications for our understanding of the universe's beginnings and its cyclical nature continue to captivate the imaginations of scientists and the public alike. The Big Bounce hypothesis challenges the traditional linear view of cosmic time, proposing instead a cyclical model where the universe undergoes repeated phases of expansion and contraction. In this model, the Big Bang is not the absolute beginning of the universe, but rather a transition point between a prior contracting phase and the current expanding phase. This cyclical model suggests that our universe could be just one in an endless series of universes, each expanding from a Big Bang and eventually collapsing in a Big Crunch, only to bounce back in a new Big Big Bang. Alternatively, our current universe could be the first iteration of this cycle, with no prior universes existing before it. However, if the interval phase between bounces is considered completely contingent, meaning it could vary significantly from one cycle to the next, then the idea of enumerating these cycles becomes meaningless. Each bounce could represent a singularity in time, a point where the laws of physics as we know them break down making it impossible to trace a continuous timeline across multiple cycles. 
the quantum theory of the Big Bounce offers a different perspective. It suggests that as the universe contracts and approaches a state of infinite density during a big crunch, the behavior of quantum foam, the fluctuating fabric of space-time at the smallest scales, changes dramatically. In this extreme environment, the fundamental constants of nature, including the speed of light, might not remain constant. This opens up the possibility of a quantum bounce, where the universe avoids a true singularity and instead rebounds into a new phase of expansion. This quantum bounce could occur with an incredibly short time frame, potentially even within a single unit of Planck time, the smallest unit of time that has any physical meaning. This means that the bounce might happen in a realm where our current understanding of physics breaks down, making it difficult to predict or describe the exact mechanisms involved. While the Big Bounce remains a speculative and unproven hypothesis, it offers a fascinating alternative to the traditional linear model of cosmic time. It challenges us to consider the possibility of a cyclical universe, where the Big Bang is not the beginning but merely a phase in an ongoing cosmic cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. The Big Bounce hypothesis has a rich and evolving history within the field of cosmology. It gained initial support in the mid-20th century, championed by cosmologists like William de Sitter, Carl Friedrich von Weizsäcker, George McVitie, and George Gamow. However, its popularity waned in the 1980s with the rise of inflation theory, which offered a more comprehensive explanation for the observed properties of the universe. Despite the setback, the idea of a Big Bounce continued to intrigue researchers. In 1987, the term Big Bounce appeared in scientific literature for the first time, used by Wolfgang Priester and Hans Blom in a pair of articles published by a German magazine, Stern und Wotrum. Wotrum. I honestly don't know how to pronounce that. Don't hate me. Okay. The term gained further traction in subsequent publications and discussions, capturing the imagination of scientists and the public alike. In recent years, research in loop quantum gravity, a theory that attempts to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity, has provided renewed support for the Big Bounce hypothesis. Loop quantum cosmology, a branch of loop quantum gravity, has shown that a previous universe could collapse not into a singularity, but to a point where quantum effects of gravity cause a rebound, leading to a new phase of expansion. This quantum bounce avoids the problematic singularity of the Big Bang, where the laws of physics as we know them break down. It suggests that the universe could have undergone a series of cycles of expansion and contraction, with each cycle beginning and ending with the bounce. The research in loop quantum cosmology has also explored the possibility of determining some properties of the previous universe that collapsed to form ours. However, due to the limitations of the uncertainty principle, not all properties can be definitively determined. While the existence of a big bounce has not yet been conclusively proven, the robustness of its key features has been confirmed through mathematical calculations and extensive computer simulations. In 2006, a new proposal emerged suggesting that the application of loop quantum gravity to Big Bang cosmology could lead to a bounce that doesn't necessarily have to be cyclical. This opened up the possibility of a single bounce, where our current universe emerged from a previous collapsing universe, but may not necessarily collapse and bounce again in the future. In 2010, Roger Penrose proposed a different model called Conformal Cyclical Cosmology, which also incorporates a cyclical universe with repeated bounces. In this model, the universe expands until all matter decays into light, eventually becoming indistinguishable from the initial state of the Big Bang, leading to a new cycle of expansion. Other theories, like the einstein carton skiama kibble theory of gravity, have also shown that a non-singular Big Bounce can arise naturally without requiring exotic forms of matter or energy. While the Big Bounce remains a theoretical concept, some scientists believe that observational evidence, such as the existence of supermassive black holes in the early universe, might provide indirect support for this model. The presence of these massive objects, which are difficult to explain within the standard Big Bang model, could potentially be explained by their formation in a previous cosmic cycle. The ongoing research and theoretical development in the field of cosmology continue to challenge our understanding of the universe's origins and its ultimate fate. While the Big Bounce hypothesis remains a subject of debate, it offers a compelling and thought-provoking alternative to the traditional linear model of cosmic time, inviting us to explore the possibility of a cyclical universe that undergoes a continuous process of birth, death, and rebirth. The Big Bounce hypothesis, while intriguing, has faced scrutiny and challenges from the scientific community. A significant critique emerged from a 2018 study published in Physical Review Letters. This study analyzed data from the Planck satellite, which observed the cosmic microwave background, 
the afterglow of the Big Bang. The researchers compared the observed CMB data with simulations of what the CMB would look like if the universe had undergone a single big bounce. They found no evidence of the unique signature that a big bounce would have left on the CMB, suggesting that this specific scenario, at least in its simplest form, is unlikely to be correct. This finding doesn't completely rule out the possibility of a big bounce, as more complex models with multiple bounces or different underlying physics could potentially leave different signatures on the CMB. However, the lack of evidence for a single bounce in the Planck data casts doubt on the simplest versions of the big bounce hypothesis and highlights the need for further research and refinement of the theory. We've journeyed through the cyclical cosmos of the Big Bounce, exploring the theoretical framework, the potential for a universe reborn from the ashes of its predecessor, and the ongoing debate surrounding its validity. We've examined the challenges posed by inflation theory and the horizon problem, the support offered by loop quantum gravity, and the tantalizing possibility of a universe that undergoes repeated cycles of expansion and contraction. While the Big Bounce remains a speculative and unproven hypothesis, it challenges our understanding of the universe's origins and its ultimate fate. It invites us to consider the possibility of a cyclical cosmos, where time is not linear, but rather a repeating loop, and where the Big Bang is not the beginning but merely a transition point in an ongoing cosmic dance. If this exploration ignited your curiosity, I encourage you to delve deeper into the fascinating world of cosmology and explore the latest research on the Big Bounce. Investigate the intricacies of loop quantum gravity, the potential for quantum bounces, and the ongoing search for evidence that could support or refute this intriguing hypothesis. And who knows, perhaps the next major breakthrough in our understanding of the universe's origins will come from someone watching this video right now. Your questions, your curiosity, and your willingness to think beyond the boundaries of conventional wisdom could lead to new insights and discoveries that reshape our understanding of the cosmos. Thank you everyone for watching. My name's The Big Why. Don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the Why Not family, a follow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.